but you don't always get the option. Uh, more useless bladestone. Well, here we are at the boss. This boss is generally considered the easiest boss in the game, for good reason, if you're using melee. All you have to do is circle around him, attack his weak spot, get him to fall over, attack his head. You do this over and over again. I left the fight in, but if you really, really don't want to be uh, waiting around, you can skip the uh, to 16 minutes in, and you'll skip the entire fight. Now my general strategy in this is to stick directly next to his weak spot, and constantly attack it. Now, while most people will dodge to the uh, side with the meat cleaver, I tend to stick to the uh, side with his weak spot. This is a lot more dangerous because it is a lot easier to get hit by his attacks. And a little later on you'll see there's another problem that crops up. However, it pays off because I can get to the boss's head a lot sooner. His head being the bird sticking out of his crown. I got really lucky there because instead of a uh, side swipe like he usually does, he does a straight down attack. I've never actually seen him do that, but then again I've never actually been at his front for very long, so... As you can see, the uh, method here is a lot faster to get him down. It only took about a minute to drop him uh, back down to uh, ground level again. The problem, however, is that by constantly sticking to only one side of his body, he slowly starts to move to the side which will always move him towards one of the walls. If he's at a wall, you can't just circle around him anymore. And here's the problem we get in. We can't get to his weakness because he's c now currently up against the stairs. The only way to get to it now is to attract him to one side and then viciously attack him on the other. Generally you're safe if you're standing directly next to his feet, but you're usually better off moving further off afterwards. Now I give a little bit of a pause, thinking that maybe I can get him to give me a little extra time, but that didn't work. If you let yourself get carried around by his uh, left arm, you should be able to uh, stick directly next to the uh, meat cleaver sticking out of him. Now here I get lucky and he spins in the opposite direction, giving me uh, ample time to attack his uh, weak spot.
You can see now he's practically inside the stairs. There are not many bosses in this game that are this easy. So don't expect this to be a uh, proper showing. Now here I got really lucky because he moves away from the stairs. And if you listen closely, you can actually hear the bird squawking at him to move. Personally, I assume that the, the adjudicator wasn't actually the large blob that we're fighting, but is actually the bird sitting on top of him. Actually, right before the boss door, you can hear the bird. And to wrap this up. Boom! Hopefully you didn't get too bored watching that. Or if you were smart and just skipped the entire thing. Now then. Our trouble, we get the Swollen Demon Soul. It's rather powerful and can be used to make uh, some very good items. But we're going to jam it straight into our face. You just know all of those souls are going straight to her thighs. Sad. With all these extra souls under her belt, let's put them to good use. Hey there! I need to buy some levels. Thou seeketh soul then tap. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Now we still got a little uh, ways to go on upgrades. For now, however, we're going to increase our strengths even more. Five's good. And we're going to drop a couple points into Dex. Because I kind of like Dex. It doesn't provide anything for us, but I like it anyways. And that should be that for that. We make one quick trip. Do you seek the power? And buy ourselves the heal miracle, so we can at least use the talisman we bought or found. And that's it for this update. See you next time.